Watching a tadpole turn into a frog is one of the most interesting processes in all of nature. And in this video, I'm gonna spend the next 50 days of my life raising 20 tadpoles into an army of frogs. It wasn't an easy process caring for them and not every tadpole made it. But here is the full three month journey of raising tiny tadpoles into fully grown frogs. It all started on day one where I was waiting for the tadpoles to be delivered to my house. So in the meantime, I got out a glass tank and a bunch of supplies. You see, at first, the tadpoles are going to need to be fully aquatic. And in order to raise them, I have to make an enclosure that is all water. So I laid down some soil and covered it in a bit of sand. And finally, I put all sorts of decorations around like pebbles, wood, and plants. And after filling it up with some cycled water, the enclosure was complete. Dang, check this out. It actually looks pretty good. And I've got some fun plants for when I add the tadpoles in here. But anyway, speaking of those, they're going to be delivered here tomorrow. So I guess just uh, cut to that. Okay, I just woke up and got an email saying there's a package here. And okay, they're actually I'm not even sure if this is the right package, but it does say there's an animal in here. So probably is. And after unboxing it, I got my first look at the tadpoles. And to my surprise, they didn't look very normal. They were actually orange and very large. You see, when I bought them, I actually got a 20 pack of mystery tadpoles. Meaning that once they grow up into frogs, it could literally be any species in the world. And some have really cool abilities. Oh man, I really hope we got one of those rare species. But for now, one by one, I put each of the tadpoles into their new enclosure, and immediately they started to explore all around and even interact with each other. But I guess this was their first time being kept in a glass enclosure, because this guy didn't really know how it worked. He just kept swimming into the glass, and uh, yeah, I think he got brain damage. Well, that's all there was to do on day two, so I came back on day three. But something unexpected happened on this day. Shoot, bro, I'm starting to get worried. Look at the tadpoles. Almost none of them are even moving. They're all just, like, sitting at the bottom. This could actually be a pretty big problem. I gotta figure out why this is happening. So quickly, I did research, hoping to find the fix. And thankfully, I came across this guy that said something about how the problem might get fixed from adding in an air pump. So I immediately got one of those out and hooked it up in the water and turned it on. As you can see, See, it makes a bunch of bubbles, which apparently spreads oxygen around the water. But even after adding this in, the problem was still here. The tadpoles were still barely moving. Okay, I've got to make sure these guys are all right. So as you can see, I got out this little bottle of tadpole food. It has some like protein and stuff. So I'm really hoping this is going to get them to be more active. This is my last idea. This better work. So I dropped in a couple of the pellets and literally like magic, the tadpoles immediately started to move. They must have picked up the scent or something. I even put a ton of them in the middle, and they basically all just turned into food-eating machines. I mean, look at all of them. The problem of them not moving had been fixed. And even better news, I noticed that they had these tiny little legs starting to grow. This is a great sign, and it means as they grow bigger, arms will start to develop under the skin, and soon we'll have a full frog that can eat insects. Anyways, that's all there was to day three. And unfortunately, on day four, I came back to yet another problem. Bro, what the heck? happened? Why does the water look like sewage water? This obviously wasn't a good sign, so to fix the issue, I got out this filter to, you know, filter the bad stuff out of the water. Thankfully, after setting it up, it cleared the water super fast, and the tadpoles were all fine. So I continued to feed them their tadpole pellets, but that was until day eight. On this day, pretty much every tadpole looked super healthy, and they were growing at a good rate. But to my surprise, over across the tank on top of a rock, I saw that one of the 20 tadpoles had died. Dang, bro, I'm not even sure how this guy died, and I'm really hoping the other tadpoles are gonna be fine, too. Now, in the wild, four of every five tadpoles actually don't live long enough to become frogs. So while it sucks that this guy died, it's kinda to be expected. Anyways, on the next day, I wanted to prevent any further tadpoles from dying, and considering some of the tadpole legs were getting pretty big now, they should be ready for a whole new type of food to make them evolve even faster. Nom, nom, nom. So let's go cook it up for them on the Terra Green Cook show today on the menu we got a very special item we're making tadpole burgers the only difference is instead of normal ingredients we're using some romaine lettuce as the bun blood worms as the patty and some tadpole pellets to add uh, you know a little bit of flavor all right but anyway step one is we're gonna get our lettuce then i'm just gonna put it under the sink and turn it on and we're just gonna wash it hopefully you can hear me this is kind of loud and annoying 
I'm just washing it. Then we take the lettuce, tear it up into tiny little pieces, and throw it in a pot of boiling water to, you know, cook it. And then the final step, we just gotta assemble the burger. So I put down the bottom bun, the burger patty, some of the tadpole pellets, and then the top bun, and boom, check these burgers out. After freezing them for a few hours, I got them out and got ready to feed these burgers to the tadpoles. Oh yeah, I already know they're gonna love them. To start, I dropped in two of the burgers, and after about 20 seconds, they slowly started to thaw out, and the blood worms started to get unleashed from them. Soon enough, the lettuce also separated and all the food spread all around the tank. As you can see, it didn't take long until the tadpoles started to notice. They would literally just be swimming around the water while having an end of a blood worm sticking out of their mouth. It looks pretty tasty. I'm just kidding. It doesn't look pretty tasty. It actually looks pretty nasty. I wouldn't want to eat a blood worm. But while they were eating, I actually noticed that one of the tadpoles has now officially entered stage two. As you can see, his back was starting to turn yellow and develop a little bit of a pattern. And that's not to mention that his legs were actually actually getting pretty giant by this point. Bro, this is so good. Most frogs are not this yellow color, so we could actually be getting a really rare species of frog. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Anyways, a few days later on day 11, the colors of this guy became even more vibrant and there was some super good news. But look, do you see that right there? I'm pretty sure that is his hand about to poke out of his body. I'm pretty sure this guy's arms are about to grow in literally today. That means we need to build a completely new tank because this is a fully acquired tank and we need something with a bunch of land area and everything so this frog will be able to go onto land and start eating bugs and stuff so without wasting time i got out a new 20 gallon tank and a few different types of supplies to make a new home obviously with the second enclosure we're still gonna have a water area so the tadpoles can swim around and do their thing but along with that we're also gonna have the land area so that when the tadpoles have their arms pop out they can start hunting for insects on land which will be very cool to watch for the build i started by putting a wall of rocks along the middle and connecting it with some water safe spray foam. On the left side of the rocks, I basically recreated the first tank with some soil, sand, and a whole bunch of decorations, and then I filled it up with water. Then for the right side, I put some dirt, sticks, moss, and stuff like that, and it didn't take long for the second enclosure to be finished. All right, check it out. It looks uh, all right. I mean, it's gonna serve its purpose. Anyways, I wanna add that one frog in here once his arms pop out. So uh, let's just wait until that happens. Anyways, it took a few days until that frog had his arms actually pop out. And by day 15, even his tail was starting to absorb into his body. Dang, this guy's basically a frog at this point. And that means he can survive out of the water. So I picked him up onto my hand and I moved him into his new home. Immediately after putting him in, he actually just stayed in the water portion of it for a few hours. You see at this this point they have very small gills so they could breathe underwater but of course they also have lungs now so they could breathe on land and a little while later i saw him sitting on the beach portion of the enclosure with half of his body poking out of the water he was about to take his very first steps onto land and once these frogs actually do go on land i'll be able to figure out what species they are and feed them insects which is going to be really cool to watch but first i want to let you guys know we've made a special limited edition merch collection just for this video we've got a hood stickers and even a poster and all this stuff is selling out pretty quickly so if any of this merch stuff looks cool make sure you buy it soon because obviously if it's sold out you can't buy it we just have so much cool stuff a bunch of different pets for my channel and yeah just check out the website there's tons more stuff there i'll let you know more at the end of the video but anyways let's just go back to the frog walking on land the little froglet slowly peeked his head out of the water and scanned around the land portion to see if there was any predators and after seeing it was safe he took one step two steps and now our first frog had walked on land for the very first time. Oh my gosh, this is the tadpole. Well, I guess it's a frog now, but this is its first steps on land. It's actually very cool to watch because I've been raising these guys for like more than two weeks. So it's this nice little milestone. But the frog didn't stop there. He walked even further onto the land and started to do something that I would have never expected. Oh my gosh, you guys see what this guy's doing right now? He's basically burying himself under the dirt. Obviously, this guy's that cool yellow yellow and orange pattern on his back. And that made me think this is a Pac-Man frog. And now that he's doing this, I 100% know it's a Pac-Man frog. Basically, Pac-Man frogs do this because they wait for an insect to walk above them while they're in the dirt. And when that does happen, it jumps out and eats it. It's very cool. And I'm about to show this guy doing it. But first, on day 16, I scooped the biggest tadpoles out the old tank and put them into the new one so that they would be able to walk once their arms popped out. And I wanted to wait till there's a couple more frogs. So I came back two weeks later 
later on day 28 and now there was a total of three froglets the original one another yellow one and for some reason even an orange one pac-man frog can be all sorts of colors so maybe we'll even get some other types but anyways later that day i noticed the two yellow frogs were chilling in the dirt with each other all right i really want to see these guys jump out of the dirt for some food so that's why i've got these crickets right here hey let's just let's just drop some in hopefully something happens so i let the crickets loose but while they constantly walked near and sometimes even on top of the frogs the frogs didn't really react to them at all so instead i tried to get out some smaller crickets and oh boy this is where i got fun right after putting them in this lone cricket went up to the pair of frogs and the one on the right tried to eat it but he missed so the cricket tried to run away but then the left frog tried to eat it and he missed even more miserably yeah they're pretty bad hunters but this cricket was just so stupid that he looped back around to the right frog and this time he was out of luck because just like that he was now getting swallowed by the pac-man frog now i thought that was gonna be all that i got to see but two minutes later one of the original big crickets walked by them i thought there was no way one of them would try to eat it but as it slowly got closer and closer and finally tripped on the dirt the pac-man frog just opened his mouth and the cricket fell straight into it this dude just ate a cricket the size of his own body and it seemed like the frog on the left was pretty jealous yeah he just kept like licking the frog on the right I, I don't really know why he did that at this point the main goal is to get all the tadpoles transformed and get an army of pac-man frogs so i continued to care for them and feed them and all of that stuff but that was until day 40 when there was a huge problem by now there was a total of six froglets roaming around the enclosure but one of the froglets was sitting under a rock with a tail and legs sticking out of his mouth even though i was feeding them more than enough food it had eaten one of the tadpoles now pac-man frogs will basically eat anything including other frogs but i figured that since they were so small there'd be no way they'd eat each other but unfortunately i was wrong since i now knew there was even a chance they'd eat each other i had to separate all the frogs into their own enclosures so i went out and got a lot of individual enclosures and some supplies to build everything up for each tank it's pretty simple you basically just fill them up with about three inches of coconut fiber dirt add some water to make sure it's nice and moist put in some moss and sticks so they could hide under and put in a shallow water dish i repeated that process in a few more of the enclosures and now you can see i have a lot of them now the final step is that i got out some heat mats and put them running along one side of the enclosures to create a heat gradient inside so the frogs will be able to choose how warm they want to be all right check it out some of the enclosures are ready for the froglets to be put inside and i probably will have to build bigger enclosures as the frogs grow up because they get to be pretty big but these should last for you know at least a few months so this is good so on day 41 I scooped each of the six froglets into their new enclosures. And as you can see, that one frog that ate the tadpole was absolutely massive at this point. He probably wouldn't be hungry for a few days. Like, dang, he, he's pretty fat. Soon after putting them in, some of the froglets went to go chill in the little tray of water to get some quick moisture. You see, at this point, most of the froglets have lost their gills and can only breathe air. So it's important that the water in their enclosure is very shallow like this so they don't drown. To finish off the day, all the frogs buried themselves in the dirt and I dropped a few crickets inside so they could eat. By day 62, I had to build even more enclosures because at this point, every single one of the remaining tadpoles had transformed into frogs and I moved them all into their new homes. There was a total of 15 Pac-Man frogs. And you're probably wondering, what do I do with all these frogs now? Well, I guess the only thing I can do is continue to feed them crickets and make sure they grow up because as I said, they get extremely big. Make sure to subscribe because I might make an update video on them when they get that huge. But don't leave yet, guys. Like I said earlier in the video, there's a whole new limited edition merch collection just for this video everything turned out super good especially the pac-man frog stuff and like i said this stuff is selling out pretty fast so if you think any of it looks cool make sure you go on the website right now and buy it because you're not gonna be able to buy it once it's sold out thank you guys and uh thanks for watching the video